So, I finally got enough strength to do a cooking video today. So, I'm sorry if you got on here and you thought you was about to see dolled up blazing because this ain't that today. I have not been feeling good. I don't know if it's because I'm entering my third trimester, but I'm starting to feel a pregnancy now. Like, it, it don't feel good. So, this is what y'all get today. Like, my eyebrows not done. My nails is not done like this raw and uncut. So, enjoy. <laughs> Let's get into it. So, first things first, here's the ingredients you will need. You will need salt. Um... Chef Poultry Magic, Garlic Powder, Tony's Creole Seasoning, Black Pepper, I have Pickled Meat, I have d, &D Smoked Sausage, I don't use anything besides d, d a pack of red beans, I don't use the can, I use the pack, some extra long enriched rice some chicken wings you need flour you need cooking oil you need two boxes of jiffy cornbread you need at least three eggs sugar butter milk you need celery you need garlic you need a whole yellow onion you need a whole bell pepper you need parsley i use fresh parsley but you can use the parsley that come in a little um, container and I use bay leaves so this is all the ingredients you need take the pack I take the pack of beans and I put them in a strainer I make sure all the broken pieces are out then I take some water I rinse them off them all then I put them in a pot of water to soak okay up. I put the beans in a pot with about nine and a half cups of water I'm gonna place a lid on it and sit it to the side and just let it soak for a couple of hours so first things first before you start dealing with meat you need to wash your hands and of course you know make sure your kitchen is clean and your counters are clean because you don't want to touch meat with no dirty hands. And you should already know to clean as you go. Like, don't let nothing pile up. As soon as you use the hair up and clean it for the process could be quicker when you're done cooking. All right. Hands are clean. Time to clean the meat. So I take a chopping board and a knife and I open one pack of the pickle meat. After I slice it up is when I um is when I rinse it. I don't rinse it before I slice it up because I don't know, that's just the way I do it. So I take the pickle meat out. My hands is already clean, of course. Um, I cut some of this fat off the pickle meat. Like, I don't keep, you know, the fat on the pickle meat. I cut that off. And I slice it up in like chunks like this. I slice it up in chunks like this. So, yeah. I'm most likely going to fast forward this part, but y'all get the point.
Okay, so this is how all the meat should look after slicing it up. It should look like this. Now it's time to rinse it. So you take the pickled meat and you put it in the, you know, strainer and you want to rinse it real good. You want to rinse it really, really good. It's kind of hard using one hand to rinse it because I'm using two hands. You want to rinse it really, really good. Then you want to add it to a pot. You want to add it to a pot and fill a pot up with water because you're going to let this boil for like an hour. While the beans are soaking. And while it's boiling, I could be prepping everything else. So I didn't record the part of me slicing a D and D up because it's obvious. I just sliced it up. Um, I'm about to saute it a little bit and sit it to the side while the meat is boiling. So this is how your D and D should look after you saute it some. I like to saute it some because that's just what I do. If I don't, it be kind of I don't like the texture of it, and you just throw it in the beans and let it cook like that. I like to fry it a little bit. So I'm about to sit these to the side and prep the vegetables. So this is how your vegetables should look after you rinse and prep them. I cut up a whole bell pepper, a whole onion, like four stalks of celery, the garlic, and some parsley. Now I'm about to throw it in my food processor and blend it all together. So you want to take and add Bell peppers. Oh jeez, my hair getting away. <laughs> you want to add the bell peppers. You want to add the onions. You want to add the celery. You want to add some of the garlic. I don't want to shove all of it in there, so the excess pieces that I have, I'll throw it in there by itself. And it should look like this. It should look like this. It should look like this. This is how much chopped season it should have produced. I'm going to saute it a little bit and put it to the side before I get the beans started. Okay, so the beans been soaking for a couple of hours. You see how they got bigger. Now it's time to start the beans. I put my stove on high heat for it to come to a boil. I add some salt. I don't um measure nothing. I eyeball everything. So when you cooking this, you gotta cook with your own taste buds. So I add some Tony's. I literally eyeball everything. Add some Tony's. I add a little poultry magic. I add some pepper. And I add some garlic powder. 
So while the beans are cooking, I'm going to occasionally add seasoning when I need to. But this is how I start it off. So I start that off. I give it a quick little stir and let it come to a boil. So once it comes to a boil, that's when I'm going to add the chopped season and the meats and everything and let it all cook together. But I need this to come to a boil first. Okay, I brought it to a boil. Now I'm going to turn it down some. I just added the chopped season, the bay leaves and everything. Now I'm about to give it ooh, a quick little stir. This is how it should look after you add the chopped seasoning. And once this cooked down some, then I'm going to add the meat. My camera ended up going dead, you all, but um, I did end up adding the meat to the beans. The beans been cooking for about over an hour, and I added, I added a half a stick of butter. I'm about to give them a stir, cause ooh, it's the steam. I'm about to give them a stir, cause they almost done. I need to turn them down. They look loose right now, but they I promise you they're going to thicken up. You don't want them too thick because when they sit, it's going to be too thick. Okay, to make my cornbread, this is basically all you need. You need two boxes of Jiffy cornbread mix. Add it to the bowl. Open the other box. I don't know why I opened this box so stupid. Good job. Today is just not muddy. Okay. Oh. Okay, so. Add this box as well. You need to get the clumps out of the mix, so. I take a fork or I take like um, a fork or a spoon, it don't matter which one really. And I mix it up and get the clumps out. Then I add the eggs. I add three large eggs. Three large eggs. I add a stick of butter, a melted stick of butter. I add a melted stick of butter. I add sugar. You all could use about four tablespoons of sugar. That's that should be fine. I add sugar and I add milk. 
So this is what I add to my cornbread and to get it fluffy, to get it fluffy, you should use a blender. So I blend it after, you know, I add all the ingredients. Okay, next I take some canola oil and I take a pan, a square, regular pan. Let me put this in the sink. Put this out the way for a second. I take a square aluminum pan and I spray it. This canola oil really good. I coat it. I coat it. Then I take my cornbread mixture and I add it to the pan. It don't look like all of it's gonna fit. I guess I brought a pan too small. But I'm just I don't know what I'll do for it. I like. This one's just smaller than the one I normally buy, but it's fine. It should still bake, you know. It should still bake right. So I did say I was going to give y'all, boom, the oven just preheated for the cornbread. Okay. But I did say I was going to give y'all an update about you know what's been going on with me and my pregnancy so oh my hair is a mess mm, i am about to be 25 weeks i'm tired all the time like all my energy is gone it hurts like i'm always cramping now like my baby kick all day she kick all day um, I have her name. Her name starts with a K, but we call her Baby K right now. It's so cute. Um, what else? I salute all the mothers that did their pregnancy, how I'm doing my pregnancy, because it's not easy. Like, it's, it's not easy. Some days you really need help. Like, you really need help, and you all you got. Yeah, your family there, but... You know, I don't know. Being pregnant, it, you feel alone sometimes, but you get through. It's like a roller coaster, emotional roller coaster. Like when you high, you high, but when you low, it's it's low. But it's worth it, cause I love my baby so much, and I wouldn't trade her for the world. So everything that I'm going through is just gonna make me love her even more because. She's so worth it. She's so, so, so worth it. And I will go through anything for her to get here healthy and safe. But I could just love my baby. I love my baby so much. So, yeah, that's an update. <laughs> but I know I really made this video to show y'all the cooking. Because y'all always wanted me to cook something. So, this is one of my favorite meals. And I haven't really been having an appetite, so I hope that I can eat a big plate of this because throughout my whole pregnancy, I gained three pounds. And my doctor said I need to pick up more weight. She said I need to gain more weight. But my baby is the right size. Like, she's draining me of everything, but as long as she's the right size, I'm good. But I've been trying to eat more. I will force myself to eat to make sure she gets the nutrients she needs. All right, so back to cooking. <laughs> so I'm about to fry the chicken. I don't know about y'all, but I seasoned my flour. I add some salt. I add some Tony's. I add some pepper. And I add some garlic powder. 
I season everything. And then, yes, my hands are clean. I just washed them again. I mix it all up. So this is how I season my flour. This is my first time recording cooking with me so bear with me it's hard to catch these angles by myself and if y'all hear Lily whining she mad I locked her in the room because she don't know how to act when I cook okay so I do the same thing I did to my flour I season my chicken I start with salt first first I cleaned my chicken I had rinsed it off and pat it dry so I start with salt then I go in with the Tonys. I go in with the Tonys. Then I go in with the pepper. Then I go in with the garlic powder. I don't rub the seasoning. I just let it sit on top. It tastes better that way to me. And everybody loves my chicken. So listen to what I'm saying. Then I flip these bad boys over. In the same steps. So I take some salt. And no, my chicken do not be salty from me seasoning both sides. It tastes really good. Try it. Then I take some Tony's. Then I take some pepper. Then I take some garlic powder. This is how my chicken, this is how I season my chicken. I'm about to show y'all. This is how Lily's crying down, baby. This is how my chicken look once I season it. I make sure everything is fully coated. So I'm about to check and see if the grease is hot. I check and see by adding a little flour to it and it is hot. So I take my chicken, I coat it on both sides. Coated on both sides, so really good. And then I take it and I throw it in the grease and I let it fry. Yeah, it's so hard to record and use one hand, but I'm doing it. Okay, and I let that fry. 
This is why I say it's important to clean your kitchen as you go for when you're almost done cooking. You won't have no dishes in the sink and your kitchen will be clean. So this is the finished result. I got my red beans and rice. I got my fried chicken. And I got my sweet buttery cornbread. I made it thick today like cake. Hope you guys enjoy my recipe. Let me know if you make it. Eat. I just cooked all this food. I am whipped. Good night, y'all. Hope y'all liked the video. It was my first one, my first cooking with Blasian, so it was really hard. It's so hard to cook and record, but I did it. I think I did good for my first video. So, y'all tell me how y'all like it. Good night. It's so good. I'm about to sleep so good. Whoop.